So when you visited the farm in Tennessee, I think the first time before you all sat down and had that conversation with Ina May about making the documentary, were you already scouting out possibly in your mind where you wanted to shoot if you were asked back? How, how did you plan out your trip once you were there? You said it was just for an initial interview? Well, I think before you realize what to shoot, you have to get a sense of the place and get a sense of the, the history. I mean, what comes to mind when you say that is that, you know, driving through the farm, we would pass this like rubble pile of bricks. Why would you shoot a rubble pile of bricks? You don't know what it is. But then over time, you hear, we would hear these stories. Oh, well, that was the old laundromat. And at the peak of our, um, you know, at the peak of the, of the commune, the line would be around the block and, and people would be there all night long doing their laundry and you would, if you were a member of the household and it was your turn to do laundry, you would take the whole house's laundry there and you would stay up all night and do it. So then all of a sudden that becomes like something that you, that becomes part of the radar. You know what I mean? And, and so, especially because we were dealing with the farm, the landscape as like sort of a, a character that sort of informed us, we had to kind of get to know like, well what what is this place? I remember when we went walking with Pamela through the woods, it was like, that was what, our sec third trip? Third trip? Summer, yeah. yeah, it was summer. Yeah, we also um, had the idea to visit it in all four seasons and to capture sort of that, you know, the, the passage of time and, and birth and, re you know, birth and death and sort of what that, the seasons can, can convey. Um, but it, summertime we went with Pamela and she took us on this great walk in the woods and and it was it was really for us this like moment where we're like oh we're going deeper we're going deeper into the farm somebody just took us on the pathways that we didn't even know existed and she took us up the ridge to this sort of mossy place where she said that you know a lot of very beautiful things happen there because it's it is sort of this removed hidden locale you know but it took that many trips to get to know her to get to go on the walk to get to go further in the woods than we would have ventured alone so it really sort of unveiled its secrets to us as we spent time there and as you're walking you know through the woods it's like there's a school bus that's just jammed in there from the 70s so there's this history you know, it's all around you there. And you can't help but sort of ask questions like, wait, who lived in that bus? And how did that get here? And, you know, um, it's really interesting that way. So your plan was just sort of to get the feel for the place, not so much. Yeah, to... I mean, we, I remember when we first went, um, you can <laughs> sign up for a tour of the farm. Oh, yeah. And That's so the first, thing we first did. day we, found this woman, Vicki, who gives the farm tours, and we drove around with her, and we filmed the whole thing, like, thinking this was gonna be, you know, and none of that footage was used, but um, it, was, it was really for us to sort of understand better what the land was, what everything was, you know, yeah. where everything was, and um, so that was kind of I funny. forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, you have to get a sense of place. You know, and and she took us to the cemetery. Cemetery, yeah. And I right? remember that 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 yeah. was like we realized in being taken there. You know, it was like hard to deny this connection between birth and death, like Sarah just mentioned. Um, and throughout, you know, we 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 wanted to include this wonderful scene that we had in the cemetery, but we didn't end up including it in the film about Ina May. You know, Ina May talks about the end of life and the beginning of life and how they're quite similar, you know, and how they treat it there at the farm. And it didn't fit into the film, which was sort of heartbreaking, but it, it gives you a better idea of how they live there and with such intention. Well, I thought it was great too that you had Ina Mae on her bike. <laughs> um, I don't know if she was like riding past these solar panels or yeah. something. Those but, were put in while we were filming. Oh, really? Okay. When we first got there, they weren't there. So. Well, I thought too, it was a great sort of um, metaphor in some sense of how strong she is. Here she's on this bike just kind of forging ahead yeah. by herself. And then also her planting those seedlings or whatever she was yeah. doing in the garden, just showing how sort of um, self-reliant she was. Yes. And I thought that was great footage of her. It really established who she was, you know? Yeah. She so got some really just beautiful shots, but also really helped to form an idea of who this woman was. That's great.